Hello everyone, I'm SV and welcome to my new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create a very interesting train with word machine and how to export it uh, in Cinema 4D, how to import it in Cinema 4D and how it's rendered with, uh, of course, with Redshift. So if you are ready, let's start. Now we are in Word Machine. This is very interesting program and if you are first time open this program it looks like very terrible and very difficult. Same like for me. Uh, first of all I'll show you version which I use it. Uh, yeah, I use a version 237. Professional version 237. Okay, uh, when you open this program you will have like this window. So, uh, for beginning, I delete everything. Just push and make delete. You can check many tutorials inside in uh, YouTube, but more than it's very difficult. Some of them is so easy. Okay, I will show you a very easy way how to use it. Uh, I'm not show you all buttons and all options what is going on. Step by step, you can follow, you can check many other tutorials, some help files, and you will find some interesting way. So, uh, what is very important for us? This button, a word, extent and resolution. When you push here, you will find uh, like this window. So, I use only this resolution. This is output text to ring. Uh, so, plus one, just disable, we no need plus one. As you see, we have like this, like a standard, yes? Disable and here you can move up to uh, 16,000 up to 16k uh, texturing is very very big and believe me if you will create some um, some terrain with this resolution you will have a render approximately I don't know maybe maybe all night maybe three four hours for sure okay so for this tutorial for beginning I'll use only like this uh, 1024 1k so it will be very fast for rendering and we can see a more or less good picture just push ok what next Next, I have some uh, some options here. So device view, I will have like a node option. So inside I can put any nodes like uh, like this, any absolutely nodes. Uh, later I will show you step by step what is going on. Next, I have like like a plane. So uh, you can check it's like like a from satellite maybe like this. Okay, this and this. So uh, for my tutorial and for create more or less good landscape, we need to use only this and only this, nothing more. Then you will have uh, three different buttons. So better use only one, only green is build. So if I push like this, it's coming building of my terrain and I can see what is going on. So with this, I hope everything clear. All other you can check in other YouTube channels in some tutorials. So this change resolution, this node view, this perspective view, and this build your uh, terrain. So now we are going down for uh, push node and go down. Okay, delete it. So what we have? We have some tools not using. I'm not using. We have some favorites. Also, I not use it. It's like a last year using uh, some nodes. We have some macros. Later we will talk about macros. We have some generators. Uh, what is this generator? This is like a primitive. So uh, the very important generator for us is this uh, advanced perlin. You just push and put somewhere here. So and you already have some some landscape here. Yeah, you can go to this 3D view and you can found it. You can found and it looks like already not so bad. Build and you can see. Okay, uh, and how it's working. So, as you can see, we have some additional options. We have some noise, we have some, uh, I don't know, constant, gradient, and like this. I show you just few of them. So, for example, uh, radial. Just push here, and what I have. You see, if I push here, in my window, I have, uh, in my preview, I have only radial grad. If I push here... I have advanced Perlin. So just go here and check. So uh, around I have like this amount. Double click and I have some any options. 
you can see. For example, I will make like this and just push OK. After that, as you can see, primary output high field. And this is like an input. You have many, many different inputs, but usually I use a top one. So just connect and put here. And then push here to see. And you can see in our terrain on the middle we have some mount. So uh, just one more time. Yes, if you are apply for our advanced Perlin any, I don't know, any node from a generator, it makes a multiply. So uh, additionally, we can go to Perlin and inside we have many, many different settings. So what is very important for us? First of all, this is scale. So if you push down, you will have like this. Push up, you will have like this. What next? Style. Uh, many different styles, step by step, push and check what you're more like. What is for you more interesting? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will use like a, like as this. So very nice. Uh, to check what is going on, uh, how it looks like, you go to 3D view and push a render. So look at this. Looks like very interesting and not so very hard. Yes, we are just use two nodes and we receive more or less good, good terrain for some I don't know some picture for some. Or something doesn't matter okay open again what next uh octaves usually use after because you see you see what is going on yes and step by step you can use all these different settings and you can check uh how it's changing how it's working how it make effect for your landscape so okay uh if you don't like use a radio grad just delete it on your keyboard push delete make like this and for example i use a gradient it's like this so uh if i make connection what i have finally here is nothing here is mount this gradient give me effect for my advanced perlin okay what if i like to make some river or uh i don't know something uh, i'm going here this is very very important for us layout generator just push it and as you can see inside i haven't nothing so double click and what i found i found very interesting uh i don't, I don't know what is going on yeah right click to moving yeah and scroll bottom to make like this inside the white uh square i have to generate something and how it working i have some tools box circle polygons and line. For example, I like to make a river. So I'm going to line and make like this. Like this, just push button and then make right click. And what I have, I have like this. And as you know already, white is top and brown is down. So uh, I have like river, yes? I like to put it down. I'm going and make it invert. Just push here. And as you can see, now what is inside in the river will be down, all other will be top. So, and it's very wide. Uh, what I have to do, just double click to this line. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, right click select. You see it start, uh, start a blinking and then left click and open it like this shape common properties okay there is many different options but for two of them i don't change if you will change like this you will see um, it's, it's not so deep yes but usually i don't change it so i like from white color to brown color from top to bottom doesn't matter follow distance so maybe i will make a i don't know you see, yeah, it's coming smaller, you can see on these windows. Maybe I will use, yeah, 1.17, this doesn't matter. And I have allowed profile curves. So as you can see, now it's liner. If I make like this, we will be here, or like this, or like this. It's, you can play and you can 
add some, I don't know, some additional options, how it's pushing and like this. So, and now it looks like very straight. Uh, okay, I again can make right click for this line and perform course smoothing. Push it and I have it smooth now, very nice. And additionally, if I go to here, use break up, just push here. And as you can see, my line have some breakups. So this breakup can be possible to edit. Going inside and use it roundness, maybe more. Scale, maybe less. Fractal backup, little bit. Just, just change something and you will see what is going on, you see. You see, it's now it looks like beautiful. Okay, and what next? So, uh, for example, I can use a circle. Just push it and make somewhere here, maybe like this. You see what is going on? So, uh, I have some river and I have some, I don't know, maybe lake, maybe something. It's, it doesn't matter. So, I can also right click one time and I can move it like this. I can push it and make, it's possible to make change something, yeah? So, and this bottom, you see, it's coming like a, mm, I don't know, like a, like a blue ring or increasing distance of effect of this circle. So, maybe I use like this, a little bit closer, maybe more closer. So, I'll keep like this. As you can see, look what I have. I have like this. It looks like very interesting, but don't forget if I'm going back to my uh, device, look, uh, don't forget this is like a mask for my advanced perlin. So if I take this and connect here, what I have, I have like this. Looks like very nice. Okay, open 3D view and look, this is my river. This is my like a lake and it's created some mountain automatically. Going back and make some, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe like this. You can play, you can play with some settings and found what you more like. What is for you will be more interesting. There is no any rules and I cannot show you exactly some, yeah, maybe like this. Just play and found what you like, it is, is depend. Okay, I keep like this, so. Very nice, check. Looks like very nice. I have very interesting mounts. So, uh, inside in Cinema 4D, maybe I will use like this viewing. I will see this mounts and some it will be behind, very good. But as you can see, now it's not so, not so realistic. So, what is very important options next? Okay, next we are jumping to natural. Open that and take first one, erosion. Push it here. This is like erosion of your terrain. So inside in natural, uh, nature, you also have thermal, you have snow, you have a uh, cost. I'm not use it for a moment. Uh, maybe in some my next tutorial, I will show you how to use each of one. But believe me, erosion is it's enough for create a more or less Nice picture like in my preview, like in my uh, teaser for this tutorial. It's it's really enough and if you just start work with word machine, just follow my tutorial and you will have more or less good result. Okay, so uh, I take my advanced Perlin and just make connection to my erosion. And as you can see, if I push now to erosion, something change. So uh, here you have a log preview. If you push log preview, when you jump to other one, nothing change, you will have and only this. Okay, now I'm open 3D view and open my erosion from here. And as you can see, if I start make affect something, my erosion will affect to my, my mounts. So again, you have some standard or channel erosion is you, you again step by step check what is going on push everything and you will find some good result for you you see it's possible make like this maybe more power maybe less power maybe like this a little bit strange segments 
I don't know. It's, 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 it's really not so not so very important. Doesn't matter. You can play with this. Some settings, additional settings. You see, it's like a uh, like a presets. Okay. So increase something. Increase this a little bit. Enable and little bit. So I have like this and push OK. If now I make a render or like a build. Is taking some additional times because now coming a generator uh, building and erosion building erosion building this is taking a very very long time very long time so push OK and what I have look at this looks like very nice I have some stones I have some very interesting erosion effect some I don't know some rows here you see and and it is enough it is enough for me so I like this mounts I'll use it. Additionally, maybe if you use a water, inside you have very interesting options. You just go to water level and make it show. You see coming some water, you can make like this and check how it will be, uh, how it will be on your picture. Uh, also, especially if you use from, um, from natural, you will use a uh, cost erosion. You will have very interesting result. So, okay, we are here. And what is now very very important and very very difficult this is a texturing uh, inside in youtube you can find many different tutorials many different styles how to do it so the easy way the easy way you will go to macros yeah you can use some Mm, some output options, combine options, some filtering. It's, it's really many, many different options here. Convert like this. Yes, but I show you some very easy ways. You're going to macros, open, and inside you have some macros. As you can see, I have many, many macros. You have not so much. You have not so much. But if you are going to your YouTube, oh, sorry, not YouTube, sorry. Uh, you will pu push like this, world machine macro just like this push enter jump to official site jump here and inside you will have a uh, macros so you will have some different categories and what is very important for you this is textures so inside textures you will found some few of them colorizer by hulk colorizer some um, ambient occlusion and blah 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 many many different so i like this color map pro you just download it uh, follow to instruction where to put it and like this for example i am download it and push it for my desktop i will show you how to install any macros just push on your desktop color color map pro then your jump back to your work machine and inside in the macros library you will have a browse folder push this and automatically opening your browse folder like this so uh what next download it you see i have many 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 different downloaded you just open that you just go to your screen dev this is already your macro open this yeah i i think i will use like this right click copy copy i have russian windows and here somewhere paste and it's asking me to overwrite yes overwrite so it's overwriting and you can see i have color map pro okay how to use it close and again open inside and in download folder i have color map pro it's already coming so open that and what i have i have like this a uh, macro this is very big uh, like a uh, space and if you make a double click open many 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 different settings so it's is really incredible settings if you're going to enter macro you will found what is inside so inside as you can see everything from the nodes for example clump yes you can use clump for here they just take a clump connect to somewhere somewhere to choiser like this make some options so also it in this program possible to create your macros but believe me it's not so easy and it's taking some times okay but how it's working if you're going to macros uh, sorry you're going back to this top level you just make connection so take this 
high field, connect here, take, uh, what is this? This is flow. Take flow, connect here, push it, and make log preview. Log preview for, for this. Uh, going to 3D view, and as you can see, I lose my mounts, but I have already now some color. Okay, how to take back my uh, mounts? Inside in output, you will have some options. So you can make output text, high uh, output, this is like a displacement. You will have mesh output, you can take out mesh from this program to any your 3D, I don't know, 3D Max or Cinema 4D, doesn't matter. You can use a bitmap output, any texturing, and you have overlay view. So just take this overlay view and put somewhere here. What is this? This is like a connector. First of one, first of them is connected a high field, and second one, bitmap overlay input, like a diffuse color like a diffuse color in any texturing so this is like a texturing so inside i haven't any information about my mounts i can take this mounts from this area and connect here but texturing i'll take from this area overlay bitmap put here and what i have select it going to log preview and going to 3d so I have my mounts, but already with some texturing. Just build and check what I have. I have like this, and it looks like very, very interesting and very nice. Okay, I am going to color map and what I can do. For example, I like to increase something and just work with some of them. I don't know, it is, is, is doesn't matter. Something more, something less, maybe increase some snow and push OK. Doesn't matter. It's, it's render and check what is the difference. Yeah, you see, now it looks like more natural. I have some very interesting uh, green, yellow, snow on the top, some roads, and looks like very nice. Also, I have some place for water. I can put some water if I need it. If I no need water, I just go... Uh, Go here, color, color master, and high water, just take out it. Okay, and render again. Wait a little bit. Yeah, you see, now no any water, and looks like now very, very interesting. So, uh, but the question how to, uh, how to export it to your Cinema 4D. So, inside you have many many different options water snow map any maps and how to export it and this is very difficult and uh, explain you if you are first time use this program you have to create some bitmap output to where it connect which mask you will receive and it's not so easy so for you especially for you i create my macros sv macros you are going here open macros and take macros name of this macros sv for redshift this is my special my macros uh, as you can see hi everyone colorize your terrain easy and transfer it to redshift with all proper settings and mask enjoy sv and some my contacts my uh, my youtube channel my viber if you like to make contact my email uh cinema 4d sv and like this load macros it's smaller than this but what is what is inside so i like to show you how it's working as you can see here inside only two high field and flow inside here i have high field flow wear and deposition where to take it from erosion so you have high field, flow, wear, deposition. So in present moment, I make this connection, delete wire, wire, delete wire, and here is delete wire. So I'm not use it for a moment, I use my. Connect high field here, flow, wear, and deposition. And I have some outputs. And what is the interesting? So diffuse, like in Redshift, normal mapping, 
displacement. This is three is very important. And other one, it is mask. Flow map, wear map, and deposition map. And now I show you how to work with my uh, SV for Redshift macro. First of all, I connect here diffuse mapping like this. And what I have? I have nothing. I have a black screen. So open this and you will find some options. So flow on off on, wear on, deposition on. If you need it, if you no need, don't use. And increase. I have white color and black color. Just increase and look what you have. You see it's starting colorizing. And like this. So wear color increase and check what I have. Maybe like this. Deposition. And how it work. For example, uh, if I'm not push, yeah, just a moment, I open like this and it will be more easier. Ah, come on. Yeah, I know what's the problem. I forget to push OK. I forget to push OK. Yeah, one more time. OK, uh, what is mean flow? If I enter and make like this, make render, OK, render, I have like a flows. So you see, it's already give me some very interesting snow effect and looks like very, very nice. Uh, open again, take out it, deselect, wear, enable, make selection. And what is this wear? You see, it's like a, like a, some additional noise and also give me some very interesting effect. So you can use like this or take out it, go here, enable deposition, just increase somewhere, push OK, render, and you can see what is this deposition. So deposition like it down, we are like a middle, and I don't know, flow is inside in everything. You see, and it looks like very, very natural. So additionally, you can change any colors. For example, deposition, I'll use a, I'll use a black black color push render like this uh, for uh, my wear color I'll use I don't know maybe green okay and for my flow I'll use a I don't know maybe red just show you what, what is going on and how it's working okay render and look what you have you have very interesting result it's automatically coming mixing, automatically uh, select everything what you need. And finally, what you will receive. Uh, later we will do like a more interesting, but what you will receive. Uh, you will have some masks. So uh, how to output it? I'm deleted and show you from beginning how to output it properly for your redshift. We are going to output and what you need. You have one, two, three, four, five different uh yeah sorry with this six six different outputs and one of them this is displacement so uh, for displacement like i told you before you have to use a high output push here and my displacement connect here for other this is just normal bitmap yeah you see a uh, bitmap bitmap high field bitmap like this so so i take my bitmap and put it somewhere here here and three in this area. Okay, connect. Diffuse for bitmap. Normal for bitmap. Flow map, wear map, and 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 deposition map. So I have like this. What next? I am going to bitmap options. Just open that and output file on every build. Yes. And what kind? I'll use a PNG 16 bits, like this, and specify output file. Open, and I have it, word machine out. Where is it? In somewhere my desktop. So word machine out. I don't need it. I'll use a diffuse. Diffuse PNG. Push OK. Yes. Then I'm, yeah, maybe, maybe what I'm doing. I'm going to word machine out. Just delete everything just show you what is going on 
Okay, again, back to my uh, to my word machine. Diffuse. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going here. This is normal mapping. So build for normal. I will use PNG 16 bits. Specify output word machine out. I'll give a name normal. Okay. Yes. Then I'm going to flow map, wear map, and deposition map. Open and same like before. Export 16 bits. Specify output. This is will be flow map or mask or map. It it is so doesn't matter. Yes. This is will be wear map. Same like before. PNG specify output. It will be wear map. The map map. Yes. And last one will be deposition map. So deposition map output inside here. Yes. And I am going also to high my uh, displacement, my displacement map. As you can see, I have some different options. Uh, same like before, save every time it's built and choose your file. So do not use 8 bits, use only 16 bits. And usually I use TIFF. This is enough, absolutely enough for more, more or less good result. So push 16 bits or 16 plus if you use a RAW, some RAW for 32, but it's, it's believe me, it's not necessary. 16 bit will be enough. So set and here I'm going again to desktop to my uh, word machine out and I will push a disp less meant displacement like this. Okay. So uh, I select and make settings for my one, two, three, four, five bitmaps and one uh, high outfield. Okay. When I'm going to this, I already no need. I delete it. When I'm going back to 3D view, just a moment. Yeah, I have to select this. Okay. I am going to 3D view and I push a render build. It makes some render for me. And then on my desktop, I can found. So I have deposit map. This is black color. I have some diffuse. I have some displacement, flow map, normal and wear map. All different maps. Yeah, now it's open it. Okay, you see. All different maps with not so bad uh, resolution. You see what is mean wear, what is mean flow. And I hope you already understood how to use it in your uh, Redshift. So now we are going back to my uh, to my word machine. And now we will do some more or less some good painting. So I am open my, sorry, go here, log preview. Open my uh, SV for Redshift colorizer and make it white color. Make some snow here. Also some snow for deposition. I will just reduce and make it like a maybe like a brown. So just increase little bit and check. Maybe like this. You see it's and push render. Check what I have. Yeah, looks like looks like very interesting. Looks like very nice. Maybe additionally, I will change a little bit this color for maybe a little bit gray, little bit, just maybe like this. Okay, and render again. So very nice, very nice. Okay, what next? Next, before final, yeah, if I'm going to output, I already have it. And it, as you can see, it's coming automatically. I just make some settings, push render, and I already have some mask. So uh, before final, before final output, I have go to this button, as you remember, a resolution and change it from 1000, the best way for 8000. This is, will be best way and you will receive very good result. This is incredible result, but it's taking very long time. So uh, my preview I use for this and uh, it's taking some time. So I don't know, maybe, maybe 30, maybe 20 minutes. So I just push uh, OK and then come back very soon. So, okay, building completed. And as you can see, it's taken uh, 50 minutes 
50 minutes taken and everything 100%, no any errors, all good. And look for our result. Yeah, it's amazing. It looks like very nice and very detailed. Very nice. Okay, we are finished uh, build our snow mountain. Yeah, what next? What we are doing next? Uh, okay, I am going to folder and as you can see, I have is, for example, diffuse map, 200 megabytes, displacement map, 100, and as you can see, a normal map, more than 300 megabytes, and very nice. So, I take it, select new folder, I'll name this folder, tutorial for, sorry, other language, tutorial, yeah, like this, and put it inside. Okay, a uh, little bit more about uh, about my uh, macro. If you like to take this macro, please check link below this video and download it. It's not free, uh, but believe me, it's working very good. And as you can see, okay, if I like to make some different colors, how it's working? I just tell you some few settings. So I am going back to resolution 100 just to make it more faster. Uh, open this view lock it sorry again lock it okay and okay for example i like to make a uh, some like a grass maybe maybe like a grass so make it green this i'll use a very dark green maybe like this if i take out it it will work like snow you see yeah i will show you like a direct line so maybe it will be like this and little bit increase okay like this uh deposit if i take out it also will be from the top or from the bottom so for a moment i use it from the bottom so just little bit like this okay and again render what i have yeah it's taking more faster time because i use only one key resolution yes it's taking more faster you see only seven seconds yeah as you can see i have like this like a jungle so uh you're free to use for example we can use uh, i don't know brown with dark brown maybe like this color uh maybe i'll use a dark green on the top or enable it just mix it like this also i will use a gray here yes render yeah you see again coming new one and as you can see it's very very simple to make a oh you see a very beautiful place in this area look at this look at this i like it i like it so and as you can see with this macro very easy very easy to make some very fast settings like this additionally you can make some save or delete some presets so if you're like this you just give the name and push a save so later you can use it so it's open macro you can enter inside of this macro and check what i created inside this is my macro okay if you like it download please from link below this video and use it for your any future works so uh now we are jumping to cinema 4d okay i am in cinema 4d and of course i use a redshift render just make redshift render and use a 32 passes for ipr for a moment for a moment i'm used like this okay very good uh for uh information mm, i use just a moment i have to check yeah for information i use a version 2603 experimental version from redshift for a moment and if some of your settings not same like my settings sorry for that but i hope inside your version you also can found like this okay what we are doing uh, i am going and create some plane size of this plane will be four thousand for four thousand and for beginning i will use a 200 for 200 segments like this so i have it and maybe i also going to filter and grid i don't need now grid what next next uh i add for this plane 
displacer tool. Uh, also two ways. One of them, you can use a redshift material with some displacement, then you can add for this plane some uh, redshift object tag, and inside this object tag you can override and make this displacement. But I'm not use it, I'm not use it, and I will explain you why. So I am going to displacer tool, I am going to shading, and inside is a shader, open that, and go to your work machine out, and you remember this tutorial, yeah? Open this folder and you have deposit mask, flow map mask, wear mask, and diffuse, normal, and displacement. Just take this displacement and push it open. Copy, not necessary to copy, like this. And you can see something coming. How to increase it? You are going to object and high make, I don't know, we'll do maybe 500, like this. Yeah. So, what I have now, I have already some mounts, as you remember, like this. Uh, don't look for these places, this is normal, because you, as you remember, as you, as you remember, I use for output, I take out this resolution plus one. If I use plus one, uh, I'll don't receive like this, but it, it doesn't matter. It's not giving me any effect. So I can delete it manually if I need it. Okay, uh, what next? I have it and it looks like not so good because I have only 200 mm, segments. How to make yeah, I use it only for fast render. Only for fast render. I am going here and make it render. Yeah, like this. Okay, maybe maybe I will increase for 500 just to receive more beautiful result. 500. Okay, like this. Very nice. Okay, what next? Create a redshift material and apply it. Apply it here. Now I am not use any lights for a moment. I show you how to use redshift materials. Open that and open your folder with your tutorial mask. So, inside, diffuse color, inside, normal mapping, and inside all your maps, flow map, wear map, and deposit map. Put here, deposit, wear, and flow. Okay, for a moment this is enough. Not necessary to use a displacement, absolutely only this enough. Okay, what we are doing? Of course, diffuse mapping, yeah, maybe, yeah. Diffuse, apply for diffuse color. It's very simple, we already give some name. After that, open your utilities. We have to wait, yes, of course, because this is very, very big size of textures, more than 100, 200, some of them, 300 gigabytes, so you have to wait a little bit. Uh, open bump and apply some bump. Bump map, just a moment. Come on. Yeah. Uh, if you use some previous version, you have normal map. Somewhere should be normal. Just apply normal and use this normal texture. In new version, you haven't normal. You have bump with some additional options. Input map type. So from Kai field, I have to transfer to tangent space normal. Like this. Apply this. My normal map. Like texture input. And this apply here like overall bump input. Like this. What next? We have to wait again a little bit. 300 megabytes now calculated. It's taking some time. When you will receive result here, it start work. So wait a little bit. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you see. So I am going to bump map and maybe increase up to two just to receive more beautiful result. So for a moment, I am going to redshift material and take out all reflection. No necessary to give me any reflection. Nothing more, no any scattering, nothing. Apply this material, render and play. What I have? I have very interesting result. So, but it without any lighting and I already can see very beautiful result. So. You have two ways, or create your uh, redshift object, redshift sky and sun, or create your any dome light. So I'll use dome light 
with some HDR map. So I take some HDR map and I like this GeoGaf, GeoGap 8K map or something like this, doesn't matter. Like this and check what is what I have. So look at this, wait a little bit. Processing textures, so it's also a big map. Okay, look at this. Look at this. It looks like very nice. So uh, I'm going to my map and maybe just a little bit turn to receive some some beautiful, yeah, maybe like this. Just a moment. Or maybe like this. Yeah, like this and just put a little bit down. Okay, look at this. I don't know. I like it. I really like it like this picture and I hope you also like if you like this picture put like to this video I'll know it about that download my uh, macro for create like this texturing and it looks like it looks like great I don't know I like it so and don't forget we are use only 32 samples yes okay to receive beautiful result go to dome light go to samples and increase up to maximum i don't know 512 like this anyway you will have very fast render but it will be yeah i will show you yes before it was i don't know 64 and just check what i have just render wait a little bit yeah i have like this you see some noise coming and then i increase to maximum and render again Render again is taking a little bit longer time, really a little bit. You will see a different, different in four seconds. But here is some noise. I don't know, I maybe increase like this. And here, no any noise. Look, I change only one samples for light and I already have very clear, very clean result. So looks like very nice. What next? What I am doing next? Of course, I create a camera. I'll use... This is focus distance, like this. I add for this camera my uh, redshift camera, exposure use, I don't know, maybe this, maybe this, eight. And bucket, yes, and I'll use a maybe five. So I'm just open that and check. Check what I have. Yeah, this is blue red and behind blue red. Only this in focus, maybe I'll use, try 10. So it's blue red too much. Five. Five will be good. So like this. Okay. Uh, also, it's possible to change depend what you want. You can push here focus distance, put here. You will have this in focus, this out of focus, but you already know it. You already know it. So I am not lose time for this. Okay. And the very important thing. Uh, we have, we have, we have, we have some mask. Flow mask. I'm going to general, just a moment, flow mask, wear mask, and deposit mask. How to use it? How to apply it? So, uh, for what I'm downloaded uh, from my word machine and how to use it. Okay, for, a, uh, for example, I don't like use my diffuse material. So, just take out it, not use any diffuse material. Inside my material, I am apply, uh, I don't know, I just take other texture, use it like a diffuse color, open that, go inside and use my, any, any texture library what you have, uh, for example, some, some stone, mm, I don't know, okay, maybe, maybe from this area, yeah, I use some stone, maybe like this, I like it just apply so i have it okay uh and i also like to make a snow uh you can check tutorials from 531 he make a very nice shader of snow for using a multi scattering but i use just white color just white color with some some reflection just like this and nothing more so only like this what next? I'm using a blender material. Apply it like a main color and apply here. What I have now? If I render it, I have like this. All my all my mount will have this color. So, but I cannot found any snow. 
I'm going here, open that, just a moment, maybe a little bit reduced to, to show you some result, what I'll have with some result. Yeah, this will be for my blend color, like a layer number one, white. And I'll use my flow map, this is my snow. I will use it like a mask, like a blend color. And what I have, look at this. Redshift, yeah, I have to wait a little bit because this mask also taking big size, more than 200 gigabytes, or megabytes, sorry. Wait a little bit, and yes, I have like this. So I'm continuously can see my uh, texture from base color, and I already can see some snow. And as you remember, for snow, I can use any material what I like and use this flow map like, like colorize it. If I don't like use flow map, I can use a VR map. Like this. So wait a little bit. Again, it's taking some time. You see VR map have different, different specification and then also some deposit map. So we have again to wait, coming some loading preparation is taking time yeah of course if you use yeah you see so now i have now i have vr map and same situation with deposit map you can use it like a mask wait a little bit until it calculated yeah this is this is reason why i take from my word machine why i take some these three different maps so uh, this give your more ways, more ways to create. Yeah, you see, looks like very nice. Looks like very nice. You create some snow. You can create, I don't know, if I change now for any different colors, I will have this result. It's not necessary to go back for my word machine, change some colors here. You already have all mask and you have some basic material. So you can use everything. So for example, for this material, I will use a light very light blue color like this just going down for this material i will use a maybe little bit a little bit like this color and one more for this material i will use a white color like this and all this material will give me some small reflection so this material I will apply like a color number two, and this will be like a color number, sorry, color number three. Okay, flow map for one, then we are map for blend two, and then deposit map for we are three. What I have finally, I have like this result. Yeah, have to wait a little bit. I have like this result and it looks like very nice and don't forget you can use for this for example for this i i am apply like a texture for this material like a diffuse color i'm going to this texture and i'll use a from texture some somewhere from snow yeah i can use it and i don't know i don't know maybe maybe this why not just try just try what i'll have like this and i think it's too much it, it, it give me many many so maybe increase 55 yeah like this so i hope now you understand what is going on for what i need this mask for what i need blend color uh, blend material in redshift but for my final tutorial i will use a diffuse color from here and this material i will apply here so I don't need it for a moment. It's just show you what is going on. Yes, of course, like this is more better, more interesting, but this give you some additional ways. For example, uh, yeah, also you can use, just a moment, I delete it. I no need this. I no need this, not this. Only diffuse color, only bump. And for example, I like to give for my snow some reflection. So as you remember, I haven't reflection. So I use my flow map like a reflection, like a reflection weight, like a reflection weight, like this. So 
uh, my snow will give me some reflection and my stones, which is not white color, don't give me some reflection. I hope you understood what is going on and and I think my tutorial completed, my tutorial completed and additionally I will show you some few things, we are going back, yeah, look at this, very nice picture, so I am going to render it, wait a little bit, yeah, looks like very nice, I have some very interesting snow effect, some roads and I don't know, I like it. I like it very much. And as you can see, it's very, very simple, not necessary to go and create a very difficult some structures. This is absolutely enough. Okay, yeah. Now I like go back to my uh, word machine again, tell you about some uh, SV4 Redshift macro. You can download it from link below, use it uh, inside with downloading. You will receive some small tutorial how to install it and some additional some some additional settings so uh, i am going to lay out and going to generator for example i like to use i don't know just delete it yes like this okay i see it and delete it so uh, for example again to generator I'm going to generator apply my advanced perlin like before and what i can do also like this you see i think i will use also white color like before white black white and this will be brown just like this so i'm keep like this Okay, like this, so enter, go here, check resolution, very nice, 3D view, and check what I have. So now I show you some few settings, like a bonus for this tutorial. Yeah, looks like very nice, very interesting. Okay, uh, go in here, and for example, I like to use a gradient. Apply it apply here and I have some gradient going to Perlin mask increase it so very nice okay yes yes very nice generate check what I have and just to think how I can use it yeah, looks like very also very interesting result. Very nice. Okay, how to create some conion? Uh, delete it. I no need it for a moment. Again, basic parameters. Then I create a layout generator. Going inside to this generator and by line create some conion. Maybe like this. Right click, then select it and double click so use maybe like maybe like this little bit and like this okay don't forget to use lock use backup increase little bit maybe up to five no maybe more not five maybe six i increase up to maximum and scale more minimum check yeah looks like very nice and also size so uh double click and to reduce size maybe maybe three three kilometers maybe less yeah like this okay so looks like very nice what next i am going back to this window apply here or you can use not apply for example just delete we use just standard this layer and i don't know you can use any filter for example i show you now the filter with, with name terrace how it's working for example like this in present moment i have like this just check it like this yeah render wait a little bit terrace unbuilt of course because it's not connected but anyway yeah 
Okay, like this, I have. If I apply some T-rays, what I have, I have like this. As you can see, it looks like very nice. Just go and check. I have like this. Looks like very nice. So inside in these T-rays, I can use also some additional options. For example, some simple or some shape or some smooth. For example, some shape and increase quantity of these T-rays. Maybe like this. Scale and you can see how it's working. You can see in this window. So apply and apply these T-rays to my uh, primary erosion. And after that, here and here and again render. We have to wait a little bit. Coming sometimes. Yes, okay. And go to check what I have. Look at this. So very nice conion and like before I told you, you can transfer it to your Cinema 4D or any 3D program and use it in future. So again, uh, download this macro on link below, use it with a very easy setup for your Redshift uh, settings, uh, then you can create a very interesting result. I already show you some materials and show you how to use any your map, how to use a bump, displacement and everything. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put like, share to your friends and check my other tutorials. Thank you very much and goodbye friends.